We're gathered here on a very special day for a very special and exciting purpose. Today marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta, and we're here to demonstrate our respect and admiration for all she taught us in life by naming our new nursing center in her honor. On May 17, Benedictine College received official permission for the naming from the Superior General of the Missionaries of Charity, Sister Mary Prima, in her letter. Her request was that we continue to give Jesus to the young people in our care, echoing the entreaty given by Mother Teresa herself when she visited Atchison in 1981. This beautiful building will carry on that request as nurses whose charge is the care for others will be educated here. Our hope for our nursing students is written on the west wall of the entryway to the building that Benedictine College nurses will give their hands to serve and their heart to love, as Mother Teresa would want. We're very honored to have Archbishop Joseph Nauman here to dedicate the Mother Teresa Nursing Center. Thank you, Archbishop, for joining us. We will now take a moment for some special thoughts regarding our newest addition to the academic offerings at Benedictine College, our nursing program. Please welcome Catherine Batchik Cora, who has completed her pre-nursing curriculum and will begin studies in this new facility. Katie is from Kansas City, Missouri and plays softball for us. For you Royals fans, you may have seen Katie as one of the young ladies standing on the dugout this summer throwing out free t-shirts during the game. <laughs> Katie is a legacy student as she is the daughter of Kevin and Lori Feltz Batchcora and sister of Brian and Greg Batchcora, all alums. We're proud to have her as part of our first nursing class, Katie Batchcora. Thank you, President Menace. Every day on awaking, my desire and my enthusiasm is this. Today, I must do something beautiful for God. Mother Teresa spent her days in service to God, making the world a more beautiful place. Without the love she has spread around the world, we would not have the honor of naming the building that houses the new nursing program at Benedictine College after her. The nursing program adds many more opportunities for students at Benedictine College, while addressing the growing need for nurses in America. This year, 18 students, including myself, will embark on an exciting journey as the first nursing class. Hospitality of the Benedictine Sisters. Today, I am pleased to introduce Sister Ann Shepherd, the prioress at the Mount, who will tell us about that exciting time. Sister Ann. The excitement mounted. Mother Teresa's plane was late and the dining room in our monastery was buzzing with anticipation of greeting a living saint. On June 9, 1981, 29 years ago, the Sisters of Mount St. Scholastica greeted Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Before she even ate supper or had anything to eat, she went to the podium and began to speak. Her message was simple. She gave us a talk on vocation. Vocation, she asserted, is all about doing what God is calling you to do. She added that our ministries must include working for the needs of the poor and doing something beautiful for God. Thank you, <clears throat> President Menace, and it's uh, always a privilege to be with the Abbot and the Prioress. We're so grateful for the presence today of the Missionaries of Charity with us as they continue to embody the life and the, the work of Mother Teresa. Katie, I never get one of those t-shirts at the uh, Royals game, so <laughs> next time I'm going to uh, talk to you beforehand. So you can <laughs> position ourselves better. <laughs> a great message today. Thank you for that. And it's an exciting um, moment for Benedictine College, for Atchison, for the Archdiocese, uh, to have this 
new facility that will begin training nurses for the future and it's so good to see the students here that will be part of that that immediate future i'd like to announce that from this day forward let this building be known that the mother Teresa center for nursing and health education or more informally the mother Teresa nursing center a child over there okay, um, to work on pediatrics and that kind of thing. Yeah. We'll be getting a baby and a birthing mother. Oh, yeah. Be, yeah, it should be really interesting. So it's basically you know, just like a safe way to practice without right. really hurting anybody. And then once you do... When Senator Brownback heard about our celebration today, he moved his previous schedule around as much as he could to be here. It was Mother Teresa and her humble dedication to the poor that, in part, helped move Sam Brownback to convert to Catholicism. We're happy that Senator Brownback has joined us today, and I ask him if he could provide some reflections on Mother Teresa. Senator Brownback. Thanks, Steve. You're very kind, and uh, congratulations on this uh, today. I, uh, uh, this is a great occasion, and I think it's a wonderful thing that you're recognizing and putting Mother Teresa's name on this facility that, that will be something that will serve and now to reach and help a number of people. I got to meet her on her last trip to the United States.